Welcome back to the Big Slice Smooth Show here on That's Manchester TV. I'm joined by OK Broken, local heroes in Oldham, in quite probably the coolest rehearsal room and cleanest in Manchester, if I'm completely honest. Uh, if you want to get into the show, please do. Hashtag That's Music and at Paul Oey and obviously OK Broken on Twitter as well. It's going to be across that, across the TV just about now. Um, so, boys... He's a funny one, this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to contend with it, mate. You know, it's all my hands down. It's constant. It's constant. <laughs> Relentless. Do you want to swap seats? It's an ongoing problem. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting in the corner or something. It's because he had some Haribo before you came. Oh, he's he's, he's peaked. He didn't miss skills. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of, for you boys, you, you've, you've worked hard in 2015. You've come out the traps really quickly with the Smash the Leeds gig. You've got Blackthorn kind of lined up, queued up, and you've just been nominated. The United States and Manchester band and if we're, if we're waiting in line, you must be buzzing with that. Yeah, made really, up, yeah. absolutely made up. Come out, of, come out of the blue, really, didn't it? We weren't expecting it, and to be to be chose out of all the other top bands that are going around Manchester at the moment is, you know, yeah. it's an honour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's overwhelming, yeah, because like I say, it's getting, you know, it's such a good unit that you know everyone's got going there with United Stations and Manchester and uh, it's, it's nice to be part of that movement that's happening at the moment yeah. as well so yeah and make sure if you want to find out what the United Stations of Manchester is about go to the website unitedstatesofmanchester.com and it's across the page again it's like magic uh, make sure you check them out where you can check out Waiting in Line we're going to play that very shortly as well and obviously you can find out where to find out more of their music so 2016 we've got Blackthorn you've already come out of the traps like I said with the United States of Manchester what can we expect? What can your fans expect in 2016? What's, what's coming? Is there any, any new music that we can kind of look forward to? We're working our way up to the studio now, aren't we? So yeah. it's, we're not going to rush it. It's going to be, when we're going in the studio, the songs are going to be polished, finished, done before we get there. So we're going to know exactly what we're doing when, when we get in there and they're going to come out yeah, as good as the others have. Yeah. But you've had some really good songs. Si- Siren's a massive tune for me. Waiting in line, for me, is my favourite. You know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of good songs, but it's such a strong song. Mm. It's a fan favourite. It's got to be big to be, you know, to yeah. write bigger than that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. It's like writing your biggest hit earlier yeah, yeah. on. But for what I, you know, for what I love anyway. Well, what, the, what the plan is really is to is to um, get about four or five songs recorded, and then add sirens and waiting in line to that right CD, and maybe bring out like a mini album sort of mm. thing towards the end of the year. We're um, guaranteed there's going to be a big party for it, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah there will be. Yeah. We're already at like, earmarking venues and <laughs> we've got yeah. it. You've got such a good following, just a, just a loyal following. Actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, they go everywhere, we don't they? We are really lucky in that respect, aren't we? I mean, a lot of a lot of bands have got a following but don't really follow them everywhere. These seem to yeah. just come with us everywhere we're going and they're not bothered where. Yeah. Like yeah, Leeds, yeah. nearly 100 people up on a, on a coach, you know, yeah. going to Leeds with us. It just. It helps us then on stage because you you buzz off them then you know what I mean. So you it, feed off that, don't you? Yeah, and you can yeah. see people singing your tunes back. There's not yeah. many unsigned bands that get that, so yeah. it, it, it's nice to have that. Is it, you're going to be branching outside of Manchester then for 2000. Um, it's 16? been on the cards, hasn't it? We're looking for the right right gigs to do the right venues and like you say, because obviously it's got to be if you're going out of town, it's got to be a well promoted night. You've got to make sure you're working with the right people, yeah, yeah. and yeah. there's no point turning up to just you know a random pub and not anyone being there if you if you're making that distance. But yeah. we've got the Boulevard in Wigan. Yeah, also oh, nice. Yeah. When's that one coming up? Is that one? What's That's, the date for that? Uh, the, um, it's August. I think Dario. it's twenty. <laughs> August. No pressure, guys. I, I can't remember. <laughs> it is August. Right. It's on it's the Facebook August. page. Yeah. You've so got yeah, your yeah. own website yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's sporting, it's sporting uh, ACBC. AC. <laughs> it actually is. It? So, yeah, it's a toss up between good. Queen and ACDC. I was like, I'm torn. I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah. Some bands would be funny about supporting like tribute acts. And there's some belters out there, isn't yeah, it? Oh, we've just supported one Saturday. Saturday just gone as well, yeah. Definitely Oasis. At Factory, it was unbelievable. The that night was just playing there as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the yeah. first time playing Factory, and the night was just unbelievable. It, it really was. Dead. It, you couldn't, you couldn't have had a better night, could you? We all parted out of it, and <laughs> I reckon we got a few then, fans from that as well. Yeah, definitely yeah, a load yeah. of people well into it. A lot of think. people filming us, weren't they? Really. Great, and we had a lot of early. So. Yeah. So we, we we did our set and it was like oh, nice. so we're gonna listen to Twenty Oasis songs now alive. Yeah. You know it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we've teased the fans long enough and the viewers when they've not heard any music yet. So they've been seeing snippets. What we do? Should we give them a bit of a teaser for Waiting in Line? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Okay. So this is Waiting in Line by OK Broken. This is track of the month for the United Stations of Manchester. Whether it's cold December or the Fourth of July. The it's a white light flying into the sky as I try to get home. Try to get home. 
United Station's track of the month and that was Waiting in Line boys don't get any better than that that's your biggest tune isn't it yeah definitely it's a fan favourite isn't it yeah who's gonna uh, who's gonna admit to writing that then where do we go with that one how did that song come together it was was, uh, I mean I don't like to but he does he does he absolutely loves it that was me yeah yeah I wrote it um, I wrote it about five years ago Mm. and um, literally at that point quite our, our songs were complicated chord progressions and stuff and I, and I always wanted that song that was literally G, C, D, mm. you know, nothing too major. And uh minor. Oh minor, yeah. <laughs> so say like what you major did there. minor. It's a major key. Um and I, I just remember I got off the bus in Manchester and by the time I got to the end of Portland Street I wrote it in my head. Right. And I I had to scribble it down as soon as I got to work. Not all of it. I'd, I'd had the verse and the chorus and everything thought out in my head, so I scribbled it down and then I think we were meeting that night. Mm. So it was literally capo on and, and show these guys what they think and it was yeah. done and dusted, yeah. So like influences in, in kind of the, the music you do, does, do you all kind of input into kind of the riffs or does anyone else write songs within the band? Or? It, we all sort of like... Um, Everyone puts their yeah, own ideas yeah. in. Now, they can, they can now it's from like anywhere, that. So. Yeah. It, you, it did used to be uh, that someone would come with an idea but I think now it's, we jam it out. I, I tend to let these guys, because I can't play difficult guitar while I'm singing, mm. so I tend to let these guys jam it out and join in, and then I'll step back and get yeah. them, the melody together yeah, and start yeah. writing. Yeah, kind of know when a jam's not good, don't we? Because it stops. Yeah, you know, it don't go yeah. anywhere. If you don't carry on and carry on and carry on, then you know it's not yeah. a good jam, so we just leave it to one side. Then, then. And you kind of shelled that until there's no pressure. There's no yeah, pressure yeah. behind it. We just record it on a phone straight away. Yeah, otherwise yeah. It's gone. I know you do 100 percent forget it. And film me doing it because I will forget it. The best ones <laughs> are the ones you always remember though. Yeah, yeah. Stuck you in know that one. Yeah. You've been singing it in the morning. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Riffed to it yeah, yeah. Well, so, what can we expect? Some new music. Sorry, Adam. Oh, so I'm sorry, I've just said there's that many different influences in the band though. You do get a nice push and pull, it's like, well I want to go here with this, yeah. I want to go there with that and but yeah it's good, it's like a, a 
collective thought oh, at the time. Put some dubstep synth over the top of it. That, <laughs> that, that, that might work. Just get my golf sticks out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you might take it. You might get better than New Order. Than yeah, 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 <laughs> so influences in the band then, with regard to the sound. I mean, I hate pitching all it. What kind of genre would you say kind of sits in for for your sort of music? I don't think we do do it. Do it. No. Every sort of, song's different. I quite a lot. Music, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every it's, song. People just switch up. Though it's not that type of music for me. You know, it's, people get it wrong, don't they? We've got something for everyone, haven't we? Really, we've got the softer stuff waiting in line. Um, that'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. And then fake mass, which is a heavy hitter. Sirens, which is kind of in between, isn't it? Mm. We've got something that everyone can tune into. I think. I think so. At gigs. So. Yeah. So the newest music, when when can the fans expect a, a new tune from you guys? We'll keep you waiting on that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the pipeline. It'll be this year. Is it? We've, It'll just, be we've just started gigging two new tunes. Yeah. They'll possibly be on the album. One of them, one of them when, when we play it, you can see the reaction, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It's like literally you see people's ears prick up and they're like, oh, that's different. Because it's different again. Because right. we, played, we played March of the Mods a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Right. What's that, that festival? It's, uh, it's, it's, like it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's something that happens all over the country. Different um, organisations get it's together. Teenage and, Cancer mm-hmm. Trust. Yes, yeah, for, for Teenage Cancer Trust. And they Brilliant. just they get on the bikes, on the, scoot, on the moped scooters and stuff. And they just come down to a venue and there's something on all day. Mm-hmm. And we were on first. and. We didn't really think uh, we, we didn't weren't sure how it would go, and when we, when we played this new tune, uh, what's it called? Where? No, what's it called? <laughs> Away from the ocean. Away from, Away from the ocean. Away from the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I wrote it, and I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you could just see people turn around and, and like, oh, that's different. So we're definitely, definitely going to record that one. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Can't wait. So your website is www.okbroken.com. Fantastic. And your next gig. Next gig is a live room, 25th of March. Fantastic. It's all on the website. So we're on there. about 11 o'clock. Um, massive day, there's loads of bands on. It's all day. <coughs> we're top of the bill at the moment, so we'll see how we get on. Well, boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. In sure Five us. Studios, the home of your rehearsals, yeah. where the magic happens. We'll have to get you into doing an SSR special, to do a bit of a live session with us, a bit of an interview. Yeah, 100%. Up out in Manchester, but this is where the home. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thanks very much, boys. Cheers, Thanks for having us. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Big Slice Music Show. These have been okay broken. This 